guys, it's Beverly. Haven't been on here a while, so I gotta catch you guys up on what's been going on. Look at my squares. These are the squares for my homework on the Crochet Cruise. It's February 26th, so we still have some time, and everybody's got their fingers crossed. It's on Celebrity, February 26th. So, let's talk about this. Um, This is a Yarnspirations pattern. Caron Corner to Corner Crochet Motifs Blanket. There's the pattern. I'm using an H hook that's recommended, but I'm not using uh, the yarn that they recommend. They're recommending Caron Simply Soft. I don't care for Caron Simply Soft because soft, it seems to be too slippery for me when I use it. So what I've been using is Mary Maximum Maximum Value. Mary Maxim Maximum Value that value and i'm so happy i chose this yarn it's so nice and squishy now the color is not really coming out true to color it looks like a blue in my camera but this is medium teal medium teal and then this maximum value is dark teal yes and this one is light teal yes the white color is actually natural so you know you can kind of see that it's not really white and i have to make 24 squares i'm on my fifth square and what i've been doing is i've been starting in this corner down here and you do it until you have five peaks and then you do the white and then you add the medium teal and then you do 11 so you have 11 uh, blocks and then we start tapering off to make our square with the dark teal white light teal and then finish the square with five uh, uh, squares and then do it to a point then what you have to do it's a nine inch square so i made my first square and then i crossed my fingers and measured and it came out so this is a medium four weight 100 percent acrylic and I had bought some Hirschner's Worsted 8 for another project. And I'm so glad that I, I tested it out because I prefer Mary Maxim Maximum Value over the Worsted 8. Okay. Now, after you have your square made, then these little stitch markers... We need to have 28 single crochets on each side. So what I did was I folded the square in half. I put a stitch marker in the center, which would recommend, you know, um, represent stitch number 14. You have to do three in the corner. So I did the three singles in the corner and then on the first stitch going across, I put a stitch marker. And the stitches are not defined. You have to find your hole yourself. So the reason I put the stitch marker on the first one after the corner was so that I could count 14. Then I went over here. You can see that's how this row was. This was the first one. And then I counted till I had 14. And then I counted till I had 14 and did my corner. So that's how this is. And so on this one, I'm still, I got to finish this side. 
and I weave in all my ends first before I start doing the edging. And then what's each square is exactly the same, but how you lay it and join it makes the pattern. Um, see, so you can see the pattern. They've got this the um blue in the in the center and then they have a chart now this chart over here if you guys read charts shows you how to make the square this chart shows you how to join it and of course the picture shows you how to join it now, if you like uh, Karen Simply Soft, uh, they're using off-white, robin's egg, gold, and persimmon. And that persimmon, persimmon, <laughs> I said it right the first time, you guys, uh, is the kind of reddish color. It's kind of pretty. And then the gold and the robin egg. And you can see how the lines kind of go, and that's how we're going to match it up. So that's what I've got going on right there. Now the next blanket I have going on is a baby blanket. And we've talked about this before and I did post the pattern on another video. And I'm still working on this. <laughs> this blanket is the first blanket that I've ever made that shrinks as you're measuring it. <laughs> or as you're making it last night I measured it and I measured 26 this morning I measured it and I measured 24 <laughs> the time before that it was 28 <laughs> so you know I, I, what must happen is when I lay it down it just kind of you know most of the time, the arm will relax, you know, after it's been setting. But this one kind of shrinks. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, you guys. But anyway, so I've got quite a bit of yarn, so it's not like I'm playing, playing yarn chicken. But, oh, of course it went on the floor, you guys. You know how it is. Ugh. Okay, so this is the, the White Wave DJ Blanket. And I really like it. I enjoy the stitching. There's a video. I linked it before. But I, I enjoy doing the stitching. That's why I'm hanging in here with this. I don't know if you guys can see the texture. But, and it just, it's almost like one of those covers that you put on your mattress, you know, to make it uh, more cushy. But I'm going to keep up with it. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Because I really want to get, get this done. This goes with the hug, hugs this. Um, hugs this teddy bear. And so I really want to get this done. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to keep on doing it. The next thing I wanted to show you was my Mary Maxim Crochet Afghan Club for the fourth quarter of 2021. The yarn that came with the kit is the Premier Velvet Brand. Premier Retro velvet grand I don't know if I want to do this or not <laughs> so I'm coming to you guys to see what you guys think if you think I should have a giveaway what should I do okay what this is it has the pattern from premiere it is a crochet pattern yes you chain 38 stitches um the hook is a size 
S as in Sam or a 19 millimeter. I don't even have an S as in Sam hook. The length and width of the blanket is 42 by 42. The stitch pattern looks pretty nice. It's called the Ribbed Crochet Throw. And it's easy is the level. It uses chains and half double crochets. Okay, now that gives, that's a plus because when you're using a thicker yarn, a lot of times you have to feel for the stitches. Oh, my nose is itching. You think maybe it's from this? But these are still in the bag. Okay, this is uh, made in Turkey. The color is white. And it is machine wash dry flat, a jumbo seven. A jumbo seven. Now there is there was a cut in this because I promise I did not cut this. And there is a piece of the yarn sticking out. And you can see how thick it is, you guys. It's so soft. <laughs> so soft. 44 yards, 7 ounces in a skein. I don't even know. So you guys give me some advice on what you think. If you think I should knuckle down and make the blanket. Now, I will tell you about the Mary Maxim uh, crochet kit. I don't have my receipt in front of me, but I think it's $29.99 or something like that every three months. Um, I've had it for a whole year now. I made two of the blankets. One of them for sure is listed on my Facebook page. It's the one that goes, um, it's like a ripple, but whatever. And it's really cool. I love it. I made two blankets. Uh, one of the blankets, I didn't like the yarn at all, so it was one of those things that I put in the trash because the yarn wasn't, ugh, I didn't even want to have it in a giveaway. So, four kits, I made two of the blankets, they were wonderful, I was happy. One I got rid of, and one I'm in undecided for. I don't think I'm going to cancel it because it's my only subscription service. Tell me what you think about this yarn. Anyway, okay, you guys, I wanted to come on here, catch you guys up, say thank you to all my new subscribers, hugs, 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 and um, to catch you up on what I'm doing, I'm going to uh, be making um, five from 24. That's how many squares I got to make. <laughs> we're supposed to join them on the cruise. But at this point, we're just all hoping that we're going to be on the cruise. <laughs> so, um, okay, you guys. Love you guys. Bye.